2015, we wrote history right here in Nevada. With the Freightliner Inspiration Truck. The world's first automated truck with a license for public roads. Since then, we have been hard at work. And today, we're back. We're back to take the next steps. We're back in Nevada to take automated trucking to the next level. level. Presenter detected. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Daimler Trucks. Thank you. As the global leader in trucks, we at Daimler have strong brands perfectly positioned for each market region, including Freightliner, Western Star, Thomas Built Buses, and Detroit right here in North America. It's time to get started. It's time to welcome our CEO. Please welcome to the stage, Martin Daum. <laughs> welcome, Martin. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, welcome everyone. Great, so many accepted our invitation uh, to this early Monday morning press conference. Uh, Daimler Trucks at Sierra. Some might have wondered why we are here. And the answer is fairly easy. Trucks is all about technologies. Did you know that a regular today's on highway truck has about 400 sensors on board? and that he has about 100 million lines of software code, it's mind-boggling if we think about it. And every truck we sell today in the on-highway business is constantly online sending data to make the truck and the usage of the truck better and more efficient. That means on the other side we have to reduce the complexity of the world for level four. That means we are going not to urban areas, we're going not to rural areas, we are not going to small roads, we go with level four on highway. We will focus first on hub to hub on certain rounds, good weather conditions, etc., etc. We will do a regional focus on the United States. Why? Because here we have an excellent infrastructure. We have a homogeneous traffic flow. That means cars and trucks are going nearly with the same speed. And we have large distances. So you can really uh, play with the benefits of a level four truck. We have the aspiration to bring that technology to the road within a decade. Within, within a, a decade. I, this is not necessarily precise, but we have no clue what we encounter for problems in between. But we're working hard. But it's inside. Level four, even compared to the best level two trucks, the trucks we'd, we show you tomorrow, will have a significant further increase in, sa in safety. This is a major benefit and prerequisite strategy. And the second thing, after safety, why we go for level four is certainly because it's a boost for performance of transportation, higher productivity. Why? Because we can run those trucks in future around the clock. We can run them far more at night when there is less dense traffic. And we can do intelligent routing uh, and routing management that avoids traffic jams. And thirdly, more efficient transportation helps society to cope with the ever-growing volume of freight and therefore enable future growth and prosperity. Global freight is supposed to double between 2015 and 2050 in all countries of the world. So we have to take today's steps 
to reduce the impact of more goods on the road to the traffic flow. And there is a strong relationship between wealth and efficiency and logistics. In the US, logistics account of 8% of GDP, while worldwide, logistics is about of 12% of GDP. So increase in efficiency of logistics increases the wealth of a nation. We take this challenge seriously, like technology task we need to take, the technology task we need to tackle. As a consequence, we are ready to move boldly forward. In the next years, we invest up to half a billion euros, which is $600 million, uh, into automatic technology. We add at least 200 employees, many in the United States, where our automated truck R&D center is located. We will take advantage of the synergies with the Mercedes-Benz car divisions. We have a clear goal to remain pioneers and lead automated trucking to level four on, and we wa want to put a level four trucks on the road here in the United States this year. Stay tuned. We will move forward with this, like we have at Daimler Truck stood for for the last 120 years and counting. We drive future transportation forward. Thank you. Roger, the stage is yours. Now, we've made a lot of noise lately about battery uh, electric vehicles. Uh, we promise to put a, an electric truck into customers' hands by the end of 2018, and we did. Super exciting. Maybe you saw me uh, with the Green Santa doing an early holiday delivery in Los Angeles here a few weeks ago where I handed over the keys of our first electric vehicle to Penske Truck Leasing. Penske is one of our biggest customers with over 250,000 vehicles in operation and for whom advancing zero emissions vehicles is a strategic priority, especially for their operations in California. Last year, Penske was also one of 30 customers with strong use cases for electric trucks who joined our Freightliner Electric Vehicle Council. This customer council and its members benefit from the co-development or co-creation, as we like to call it, of deployment strategies for battery electric vehicles, including the exploration of viable use cases. Uh, we talk about current legislation and talk about incentives, of course, and requirements for facilities and the necessary charging infrastructure. The Freightliner EM2 pickup and delivery truck marks a milestone in the real world application of battery electric vehicles, as well as a key step towards emissions-free mobility, giving us a glimpse at the future of sustainable transportation, cleaner air, and a smaller CO2 footprint. Stay tuned for our next delivery. It's coming up soon to NFI National Freight, where we'll deliver a set of vehicles for their battery electric vehicle um, test fleet. But before I unveil the first ever series production Class A truck with SAE Level 2 automated driving features, I'd like you to understand how enthusiastic we are about driving this innovation journey from the United States. We know the need for transporting goods will continue to grow here in the U.S. And in a highly competitive environment where our customers expect same-day delivery of their online purchases, our customers have an appetite for innovation that helps their productivity, entices more drivers to join their fleets while simultaneously increasing safety. The US is simply a great place to host our vision. The regulatory and policy framework in the United States is favorable. We will continue to collaborate with stakeholders leading this industry as we enter the evolutionary era. We will work with the US Department of Transportation and all the state and local agencies to develop regulations and policies with a keen focus on establishing a progressive level of safety for our customers, for our drivers, and for the public. More specifically in the US, the vast infrastructure combined with the 48,000 miles of interstate freeway makes America the ideal place to research, evaluate, and ripen our automation technology. The environment and forward link thinking and regulatory climate, along with Freightliner's relentless pursuit of innovation, primes us and the industry to pursue these new solutions for our customers that will bring better, safer, and more efficient trucks to the highway. 
So, without further ado, I'm assuming you would actually like to see the first ever Class 8 truck with Level 2 automated driving features in North America. Well, the stage here at, at KMAC is a little bit small, but I do have a special guest that I'd like to patch in to the show from the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. I've invited our very own Kerry Schaefer, who was over the track earlier, uh, to give us all here a sneak peek. Roll the video, guys. As Roger just mentioned, we are proud to be the first commercial vehicle manufacturer to deliver SAE Level 2 automated driving features to the North American truck market. This relentless pursuit to develop innovative technologies make the road we all travel on safer. And this is a visionary Daimler initiative we all will benefit from. We can't wait to reveal our latest Detroit Assurance innovations here that helped us reach this important milestone and put the industry leading Freightliner New Cascadia even farther ahead of the competition. So it's only right here that we do this during CES, the global stage for innovation. And many of you were present nearly four years ago when we demonstrated the first highly automated truck to drive on public roads, the Freightliner Inspiration truck, right here in Las Vegas at the Hoover Dam. Four years ago, the technologies featured on that truck were only a concept. Today, many of those technologies become reality. Here's a sneak peek of just one of the Detroit Assurance Safety System demonstrations that you will experience today. Wow, did you see that? That's exciting to say the least. I would like to invite all of you to come out here to experience for yourself the power of Detroit Assurance technology as well as many other new Cascadia enhancements, both from a consumer perspective and from behind the wheel. Be one of the first to see the potential life-saving innovations powered by the latest transportation technology. We look forward to seeing you soon. In 2015, we drove the Inspiration truck across the Hoover Dam and into Las Vegas as a vision and as a promise. And now we have turned it into a series production truck with the new Cascadia in 2019. Promise delivered. We will do the very same moving forward. We will make automated trucks a true American success story. Thank you.